Hey, what's up guys? So welcome to the Twitch build. First of all, I want to talk about why we're building this streaming PC. Okay, so currently I have a monster computer that does all my gaming, all my OBS, um, all at the same time, including my Unreal Engine 4 game development for my indie game. So when I'm trying to stream my game on my OBS, which is using the same CPU, um, my frames tend to lag on stream a tad bit, which is really annoying. So I put a lot of thought into this build and being an, you know, kind of a creative artist, I wanted to build the case mod around Twitch, you know, the founders of basically uh, live broadcasting and streaming video games. So now that they opened up the channels like the IRL channel or the game development channel and the professional gaming channels from all different genres of gaming, it's, it's awesome. So I just really want to build a themed Twitch streaming PC. And that's all it's going to be doing. There's not going to be any gaming involved. So we aren't going to need a graphics card for this very affordable build. So let's get started on talking about the parts. First of all, I want to talk about the AMD FX 8320 CPU. It's an eight core processor. It's going to be a beast because all we're going to be using this computer for is OBS. So high encoding with an eight core processor. Got it very cheap for $40 with the fan. So the next thing I wanna talk about is our add data memory, two SSDs, 128 gigabyte for all my animations and effects that I use on screen to hold that memory and the add data 32 gigabyte SSD to hold Windows 10 so our boot up is fairly fast. The next thing I wanna talk about is our gigabyte 78 LMT USB 3 uh, motherboard. And that thing is awesome because it has an HDMI integrated ATI Radeon HD 3000 graphics card uh, already built into it. So that's going to help so much with um, streaming our gaming PCs directly to the streaming PC, if that makes sense. And oh, Asia Horse, I got two Asia Horse CPU Halo White light up fans that are going to be looking dope in this purple build. The case I decided to go with is DIY's, uh, DIY PC's um, black and purple uh, case, which was very affordable at $35. And all together, this PC should run us at low temperatures at, 83, at 1080p, 30 frames per second, which is really good quality on stream. So let's get to it. Let's get right into it. Um, this is going to be a very affordable build, I think, with the paint and all the supplies. I've only wasted like $235. So let's get into it, guys. Enjoy the video. I'll see you guys during. So dismantling the case is fairly explainable. Um, it's not rocket science. Um, this case in specifics was pretty cool. Um, I didn't have much struggles on taking it all apart. Actually, tear down was like in about five minutes. I highly recommend that you guys uh, invest some time into looking at these scrub pads compared to water sanding um, to take out the top layer of paint for getting it ready for primer or for um, spray paint. I highly suggest these scrub cats, they save me so much more time dude, uh, you guys should look into them. That's a big, big uh, time hack in my opinion. Covering the motherboard stand screws uh, for them to keep contact onto the ground, um, all I did was just tape them up so um, we could paint over them with ease and uh, just leave them in place. Hey, I want to throw a shout out to my cousin Zeppelin Gaming. Uh, he does really good paint work when it comes to spray painting. Um, the guy's basically a master at it, so he helped me out there. Um, the paint that he's using is Rust-Oleum's two times paint and primer combo. I only had to use one can of the purple and one can of the white for the whole build. Um, as you can see, his strokes are flawless and he did a really really good job on painting this whole PC. 
I was really satisfied with the color that I chose, especially the Rust-Oleum brand because um, the two times this gave it that nice thick coat every single pass. I only gave it two passes um, through the whole build. Um, and it was thick, nice, good, and clean. I mean, and I mean, when it dried and cleared, it is specifically magnificent the way it dried up because it's so thick with the primer. Um, and it gave it that nice rich purple uh, color that we needed for the twitch. Inside the chassis, I decided to go with a white because one, our lighting's gonna be white in the inside and I didn't want the black to draw back from the brightness of the light in the inside of the case, especially with the Twitch logo window. I wanted to make sure when I pressed the power button that it was gonna be really bright in the inside. Painting the Twitch logo window was basically one of the most uh, big iconic centerpieces of this whole build. Uh, Zeppelin did a great job on covering every single spot and um, so far everything's looking great on the case. I was really satisfied that we got this all done within about an hour. So after 24 hours, uh, it was time to get the build started. First of all, we want to start off by dropping in our CPU onto the motherboard and making sure it's secure. Next, we put in the fan, CPU fan to make sure that we got all the main core parts stabilized. The RAM I decided to go with is with Corsair's Vengeance 8GB RAM since it's only going to be used for OBS and uh, memory regarding my uh, visual effects and encoding, 8GB um, is sufficient enough. Now we want to go ahead and mount the motherboard directly onto the chassis and it went in flush and nice, I uh, couldn't be more happier. Time for the cable management. Corsair CX430 power supply was sufficient enough for just the little parts uh, we we're going to be running. I wanted to go ahead and mount back all the uh, 
reset button, power button, and USBs. Mounted it onto the motherboard and wanted to secure our dry, our dry PC top lid and side panel. The brand Asia Horse is not that common. Uh, a lot of people use mostly big name brands, but this was a very affordable, since this was going to be an affordable budget friendly build, I decided to go and try out their halo white ring lights for the build. I couldn't be more happy for the price that I paid. Time to mount all the pieces together, covered up my cable management, and time to paint the iconic Twitch eyes for the chat box. So there you have it, all the opponents are in play, and we are almost ready to fire this bad boy up. And I couldn't be more happier for this budget build and custom case mod. Everything was really, really cheap, and for what we are building, I'm stoked. So there it is, after putting it all together I noticed that some of the paint job had some streaks and spots and fingerprints in it that were little details that you could vaguely see and my uncle turned out and he came up to me and told me hey why don't you try using turtle wax to buff out the paint and polish it up and I was like well I don't know if it's ever been done before but let's give it a try as you can see right there there's some fingerprints where I'm pointing and so he put on some turtle wax and I am completely in awe on how beautiful the case turned out. It looked professionally done, the paint job, right after we used the turtle wax. I was just in amazement. So that's another hack that I suggest you guys try. If you're going to paint a PC case, buff it out at the end after, wait, 24 hours, but buff it with turtle wax. And every single little tiny crevice and miss spot will get buffed into smoothness. I kid you not. It was awesome. I'm so happy that he, was, he said that because that's what I'm going to do from now on to, for all my builds. Look at this beautiful paint job. I can't believe it. Thank you to my uncle for giving me that suggestion. So now that we fired it up, I wanted to go ahead and install Windows 10. Um, as you can see, the beautiful halo ring in the back. It looks pretty cool, but it wasn't giving me enough lighting that I needed for the, for the case, uh, for the mirror to light up. So, so this coming week, I'm going to buy an internal RGB lighting kit for it, for specifically white. So it's very bright and noticeable in there. So now with my heavy animations that I use in OBS, um, all the animations that I make on Photoshop and After Effects for stream, as you can see here, I wanted to see how much and stress test it using fraps and recording at the same time. I am streaming and recording at the same time. So I'm stressing it to the max to see if I can hold with my animations 30 frames per second. So if you look closely, I'm going to hit my animation. Hey. 
And if you can see in the background there, I'm stable. I'll just do a few more really quick so you could keep seeing and stress testing it. There you go, see? See, so it's stabilized. There, with this processor, you don't need a graphics card. It's holding its own. It's, it sometimes will dip for a quick second, but it's okay. It's on the startup of a encoding some high-end transparent graphics, as you can see. But other than that, I am completely satisfied with the stress test. I let this drag on a little bit so you guys can see how it just stays stable and there's no change. All this was successfully done with no GPU and an 8-core processor just for encoding. So I mean of course you gotta set your OBS and tweak some settings like encode using CPU. Now I want to talk about Rocat Power Grid. A lot of these streamers pay thousands of dollars for macro keyboards and switchers and buttons for their animations. Rocat Power Grid basically enables an app on your phone to mimic keyboard shortcuts in your PC. So when you, I hit that button right there, it easily sends the hotkey directly to my PC so I don't ever have to go to my Twitch streaming PC and get a keyboard and try to hit an animation. If you have a tablet or an, an extra mobile device that you don't even use anymore, you could easily download Rocat's Power Grid, connect to hotkeys, and just use them as your animation overlay. So if something happens awesome on my stream, I could just hit that button and I don't have to worry about having my desk cl cluttered with different mouses and keyboards for my other streaming PC when I could just use it all on my phone right then and there. I highly suggest you guys check out Rocat's Power Grid. It saves you a lot of money, saves you hundreds of dollars in investing into um, different switchboards and different macro keyboards all over your desk. as you can see there it is on stream live as I'm hitting the button so I'm hitting the button right there and it's that's live so the background video is the actual stream video and that's the high quality that you get I want to go ahead and thank Avermedia for sending me out the Avermedia Live Gamer HD2 to put into this bad boy for all my console gaming recording and streaming needs. I will also make a separate video reviewing and unboxing this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful two-time encoding 
unit. Basically, this capture card does all the encoding for you on when it's when it's connected to a console. See, I have it installed into my gaming PC just for test purposes, um, and basically, I will be using this to be streaming my PC as well through the Twitch build. Um, the card is awesome. 1080p 60 frames per second uh, will be going onto my stream but my stream will be reduced to 1080p 30 frames per second but you're not going to be seeing any less quality because the card's output is actually 60 frames per second. So my conclusion is this. I could not be any more happy or satisfied for $240 of building a second streaming PC. I don't have to worry anymore about um, while I'm doing game development, I don't have to worry about my computer lagging out while I'm showing the Unreal Engine 4 and all my game that I'm doing um, is glory. So you guys are going to be able to see nice, crisp, fluid movement. And I'm also going to be, uh, so the advantages of having a second streaming PC are phenomenal. Let me just bring that out. I made this video for everyone that is trying to get into the streaming scene and getting an affordable build where you get an affordable parts and affordable software for you guys to be able to stream just like the best out there. Um, I can't wait for what you guys have planned next or if you hopefully this video motivated you guys But I am very satisfied for this build. I will be reaching out to Twitch to see if they would like to sponsor me on version 2 the Version 2 plans as you can see here are what I have planned. I actually want to make a wall mountable Twitch logo into a streaming PC basically you could hang it and it just looks like a picture frame um, and that lights up you know exactly like the twitch logo that's gonna be version 2 if I get enough likes and followers on this video I will definitely be making it and I will be reaching out to twitch I'm gonna try to reach out to AMD as well to see if they would like to use the new Ryzen um, CPU line because they are promoting a lot of uh, you know twitch and I mean not, not just twitch but in general broadcasting for gaming um, CPUs so I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to them and see if they would like to sponsor as well um, my conclusion for the build itself is I'm very happy with this build I'm gonna be able to show off my game development now with very crisp detail and instead of choppy frames I'm trying to use one single PC to be doing high-end CPU usage on Unreal Engine 4 and also on um, gaming itself. Now I could up my gaming, um, now I could put my graphics to ultra on some certain games and broadcasts and stream with my visual effects all together in a high-end 1080p 30 frames per second. Um, so I'm very happy. $240 couldn't have went any better for this nice amazing custom design build um, that I haven't seen anybody do for a streaming PC so hopefully you guys like the video um, thank you for watching I really appreciate you guys spending some time to review uh, this case mod and this affordable build I hope you guys go ahead and start thinking about a dual streaming PC setup um, it's definitely well worth it also, you guys can see me live every day on Twitch at Arcade Johnny. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like or follow me there on Twitch. Um, maybe, maybe in the future we'll also be building a YouTube PC streaming mod. But we'll see about that. Right now, most likely version 2 is what's coming.
so hit the like button guys if you liked if you didn't hit you know what to do um, I will take any of your criticism too inside the chat below so I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me for a little bit until the next build I'll see you guys soon peace Yeah.